How's it going today guys? It's Hamlin80 and today I'm gonna just jump into this video because I don't really know the backstory or um, like anything about these people but uh, it's a video of these TikTokers that I don't know because I don't follow TikTok or any of the people on TikTok and um, it's about uh, but the topic is about sexual assault or like sexual assault allegations but it's kind of different from what the typical, you know, allegations and things like that are. Like it's more, um, or not it's more, but it's a man accusing a woman of doing so and it's video proof of it. So um, I'm going to look at the videos, I'm going to react to it. And uh, like I said, I'm going to give my, like I said, I don't know these people. So I'm just going to give my opinion and um, see what's up. I usually wouldn't even follow these those like TikTokers or anything like that, but uh, yeah, it's causing a big uproar, so I want to get my opinion on that. I want to react to it. So, this is Sienna May assaulting Jack Wright. So, the first video is the evidence, supposedly, and um, or I mean, it's kind of self explanatory, but uh, yeah, it's all still allegations, but um, yeah, so we'll watch this one and then we'll watch. The Jack Rate, I think that's his name. Yeah, the Jack Rate uh, person um, came out and made a video about it, about his side or how long it's been going on and all of that. So we'll watch that as well. I unequivocally deny the allegations that I sexually assaulted Jack Rate. This video is from November 30th, 2020. <laughs> That is Sienna, and that is Jack passed out on the couch, unconscious. This is the first time I met Sienna, and I did not know that they had a fake relationship. This is me in the white hat. I was taking care of Jack while he was unconscious on the couch. Sienna then hops on top of him, and I didn't think nothing of it. I started hearing kissing noises, and I peeked over my shoulder, and it was exactly that. I was so thrown off guard that I had to leave the situation. Whatever their relationship was at the time, obviously this was not right, so I went back and took Sienna off of Jack. Not to mention, when I got closer, I noticed her right hand inappropriately touching his crotch. She was shocked that I pulled her off, and she kept trying to justify what she had just done. I talked to James and Jack the next day about the situation that happened that night, and James said that happens all the time. These are the facts, and I'm a witness. Okay, interesting off the back. Um, he says something about, I don't know who that person is. Uh, he said something about um, <clears throat> that that happens all the time. Like, what does that mean? Like. Well, how does that happen all the time? And I'm not saying that he's wrong. I'm just saying, like, like, what's that mean? Like, why are these people even still in the same, like, vicinity of each other if stuff like that is happening all the time? Like, um, if the person is saying that happens all the time to him, or I got, I don't know if that was his friend saying it happens all the time to another one of his friends, like, why, are, why is she still around, or why is that person, any person that's violating still around y'all like I don't understand that and uh, of course I know about like everybody be doing the fake relationships it's all like on YouTube celebrities do it all the time so I mean I guess I can understand that it's, it's for the clout or whatever but yeah it's still like when the cameras is off then why are y'all like still around each other I can understand faking it well I know I can't understand faking it but um yeah if y'all really just faking it to get more buzz or more clout or uh, grow each other's followings, whatever, that's none of my business. But yeah, when the cameras are off, why are y'all still around each other? I don't know. But as far as like her doing that, yeah, that was the evidence was right there. It's clear as day. But why do people do like, what does she get out of that? That shit is just weird as fuck. Like, and for anybody who would do something like that, like, um, sexually assault someone one but also like fucking with somebody that's unconscious like what do you get out of that i really don't understand like what was her pleasure in that uh or what like i said what's anyone's pleasure in doing that that shit is so confusing to me like i really can't even think of one thing like you get out of fucking with or bothering someone that's completely unconscious or you know, I mean, isn't responsive to their normal self. I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around why anyone would do that. I, I just don't get it. 
So the second video is from the Jack Wright person, and uh, he's responding, and this is, I guess, his side of the story and more. So let's just jump right into that. <laughs> All right. See, I've sat down many times trying to do this. It's been very hard. I want to start off by saying I just want to say thank you guys so much for your support and for giving me time. I wanted to share what I went through with Sienna and my side of the story. This all started when my friend came out with a tweet because um, he was worried about me. He actually witnessed a bunch of times what Sienna did to me. After Mason's tweet, their family reached out to our family, told Mason to take down his tweet, and he did. We wanted to settle it offline. Our families and our lawyers got together. My statement was confirming the tweet. It was the truth and basically that we're handling it offline now. Sienna posted her own version of the statement and said she was gonna handle it offline. After that, she basically posted an eight minute video invalidating my feelings, saying untrue stuff about me, about my friend and my brother. I think the most hurtful thing is that what she did to me, she said it was untrue. I know that hurt a lot. After that video, another one of my friends came out with the video when I was at a party, like passed out on the couch. When they told me about what happened, uh, they said they pulled her off of me. My twin, a friend, and another friend got in an argument with Sienna saying, Working on my posture while I'm listening to this. Jack doesn't like you like that. That night she posted a 15 part aggressive video gaslighting everything about what happened, how much she. So it sounded like it was a first incident. Y'all see me working on my posture. I'm trying to get that right. But yeah, um, uh, Squeeze the bat. Boom. All right, but yeah, the, uh, I guess it was an incident before this, but it, I thought he was talking about the video at first, but he didn't really go into detail, and now he's talking about the video, so. ...me and that I was using her for clout, which was all lies. It was typical gaslighting to a victim it was, why didn't she stop hanging out with me? Why didn't she tell me in the first place? Someone who explained it perfectly is... This guy on TikTok posted a video, and it was just, he explained like, he explained like, oh my god. He explained everything perfectly. It was a trauma that you have to process, and sometimes you have to process it alone because an entire society is against you as a man. See, and I have watched the video, exactly of what happened, the video evidence that I've seen over and over and over again, and you say his hand, his hand moves because it falls off of his friend's back. Your hand is on his crotch, it is not on his upper thigh, he was unconscious. You did a bad thing, and I know you are trying to write it in every way you can because of the account that you have and the following that you have and the life that you're currently living, but I need you to just do us all a favor and admit what you did was wrong. I don't care how touchy-feely your relationship was prior to or after that moment, but just know that he did not speak up and he did not act any different because he knew a society would be against him as it is. And now that everybody's seen the truth, you just attacked in a way that is supposed to be an apology or righting the wrong. What you're doing is manipulating right now. Any sane person knows that they wouldn't have to go on multiple platforms to post something like this, and they wouldn't be getting angry in the videos that are supposed to be addressing and apologizing. I know you've got a lot to lose, I know you've got a lot to live for, but here's the truth. You getting worked up because people are trying to get the truth out of you does not make it right to get shitty in a video. Just know that the truth will prevail, and your bullshit lies will come out. I think his video was one of the reasons why I was, um, nope. Uh, I haven't seen her response and, um, anything like that. Uh, again, I said from the beginning that these aren't topics that I usually even, uh, well, not topics, they, like the creators aren't people I usually cover or what do you even ever cover. But, um, yeah, this came across like my screen so I was like I'll react to it but um yeah it seems like the like I said the evidence is there and uh, I don't know really how much denying it could be at this point because the video is so clear and evident but uh yeah like I said I haven't seen her actual reaction video so um I can't speak on that and was able to not come out with like an aggressive statement like her I was able just to I knew the truth I knew what she did to me Sienna and I met four years ago in high school she was dating my big friend um, and basically it did not turn out well she cheated on him two times and it kind of like created this whole problem in her friend group I'm 
So why'd you fuck with it? It's all for like second chances of people. <laughs> yeah, I right. Say. Anybody that cheat on my good friend or friend in general, I'm not fucking with in any way. I don't care. Like if you already been with one of my friends, I'm not fucking with you. That's just not gonna happen. Like somebody that I actually consider a friend, nah, it's I'm good. Um that's just me, that's just how we roll. Like I ain't I ain't even doing nothing like that. He reached out to me and basically asked if I wanted to do an interview with her in LA and I said we hung out, reconnected. Um, I showed her around the hype house, introduced her to all my friends, and um, I was happy for her. And we just had fun hanging out. I just want to clarify that we both knew that we were just friends. She was seeing and talking to other guys in LA all the time, and I, I just thought of her as a good friend. We were making videos, we were making dance trends. We had fun. It was just strictly friends, and we both knew that. At this point, nothing inappropriate was happening between us. We were just friends. Everything was fine. This next part of the video is very difficult for me to talk about. I've been wanting to talk about it for a long time. So the first incident where Sienna crossed boundaries is after filming. We went to the room. Um, I was just chilling on my phone on the bed, and she got naked, like completely naked, nothing on and straddled me when I was literally just chilling on the bed. But I didn't know what to do in like the situation because it was just like random and weird. Quickly told her, Sienna, get off. We're just friends. Stop. They're trying to make out with me. They were like just doing a bunch of things to me. And I was I kept on saying, Sienna, stop, get off. I felt like I didn't want to like be like aggressive. I didn't want to hurt her, you know? So I, I pulled her off of me. And it took like a couple tries because I didn't want to be like too rough. And I went out of the room and that was like the end of it. The next morning where she was like, I'm so sorry for doing that. It was, I, I don't know what went through my head. I had to clarify again that I didn't like her that way. We we're just friends. She said, sorry, that was it. After that, these type of things kept happening. She would do something and I would forgive her and she said it wouldn't happen again and go on and make fun videos after all those type of things kept on happening. The Hawaii incident happened where I was passed out unconscious almost like the whole night. She got on top of me, took advantage of me, grows me. I'm, I'm so glad they pulled her off of me and honestly I'm glad they have evidence. I just uh, yeah, the, <clears throat> the video, the last video that he just was talking about, that's like obvious, like I said, the evidence is there, but, um, just me personally, yeah, I'm, the other stuff, I don't even think that could even have happened, because if it's something to that point where, because I've had situations like that happen with girls where it's like, yeah, nah, bro, I'm, we just, like, nah, we just friends, like, it's completely nothing more, yeah, I'm, separate myself from that person like and i don't know if this person's uh career depended on him like being friends with her or not but if not yeah i just sort of completely separated myself from that person like instantly so um i don't know i'm definitely not saying it's his fault or any of that like the story not even over but i'm saying uh yeah me i you doing some weird wild shit around me, I'm not even, like, we not even gonna be chilling. Like, it's, it's a dub. I found out about the video, she said sorry. She said if this got out, she would be done. That it's horrible, and she's working on boundaries, and she was seeking hmm. therapy. Um, and shortly after, there was a party, I was seeing pictures with a couple other girls. She took a picture, Sienna came in, started screaming at me, got mad at the girls, told me to come to her room to talk to me. She started screaming at me, then it was like, Sienna, there's no reason for you to be mad when you're getting with other guys in LA. I can't just take a simple picture with a couple girls. That's when she 
Ian, that sounds like it was something a little more than he's saying. Because how would that even have made made sense? If he's saying <clears throat> if he's saying that uh, she got mad at him for taking pictures with some other girls and then he says, Well, you've been talking to other guys around LA. I can't like why wouldn't you say if y'all was completely just friends and not fucking or doing anything like that, why wouldn't you be like, Yeah, you not my girl, like work First off, I'm not even going to your room. Like, who are you? Like, we're not together. Stop talking to me. You know what I mean? Like, why wouldn't he do it? Why is, why he's still feel, feel an obligation to even entertain her when that's not his girl. He's not, you know what I mean? Fucking her or anything like that. Like, excuse my language, but yeah, like he's not doing anything with her. Why does, they're not a couple or anything like that. Why is he even entertaining? I don't understand that part. He said he he don't know why he kept even being friends with her. I don't understand that either. That part don't make sense to me. And I'm not saying that he's lying or that uh, what she did was okay or anything like that. Because it really don't matter what happened leading up to that point. Clearly, she violated in that video and it's evidence of it. So that's the only case. That's the only thing that he needs. And he's completely right on that. That's the only thing anyone needs to see. It don't really matter what their relationship was prior to that. Like he was completely unconscious and like unconscious and like I said, what does she even get out of doing that shit? That's just some weirdo shit. Like, why are you jumping on top of somebody that's completely like blacked out? Like I don't I don't understand that. But yeah, the fact that he is even um entertaining any of that when she just seemed like crazy as hell or think that they are together when they're just completely friends, I don't understand that because most people would be like and even i can't even say most people even someone that is like the shyest per like the most shy person or the most uh, non-confrontational or anything like that they'd be like yeah we're not together like you, you know what i mean say it in a nice way like just it's not hard to tell or remind someone that you're not with them like i don't, I don't know and especially with like the past couple things she did I didn't want nothing. To, I didn't want anything to do with that. Over the next couple of months, I was stuck in this toxic cycle. I was stuck with her crying to all my friends, saying that I didn't like her back and why don't I like her back? And she would get mad at me for not caring about her as much as she she cared about for me. But she also be doing these things to me and would go see other guys in LA. So it was like. You know, Yeah, it's got to be a little more. Like I said, even just watching that first video, like, I'm with him as far as that video goes. Like, because I'm not on either one of them side, their side. After this video, I will never even remember their names, like, to be honest. But, um, yeah, why does he keep bringing that up? Like, that she was going to see other guys in L.A. and that... He was only doing this, but she was going to see other guys. And other, like, it clearly had to be. Like, I'm not on either one side. I'm neutral. I don't care. But clearly, it had to be more than that going on. From more than the friendship part of it going on. Because he keeps bringing that up. You know? Like, well, you were going to see guys. And I look, like, why does he even care? Like, it would just be like, all right. 
I don't give a fuck. Like, why are you talking to me? Don't you gotta, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like it got to the point where I had to like start screaming at her. It's like, get out of my house. Cause I was so sick of her just like breaking into my house. I would wake up and see her car just sitting outside at like two in the morning. She'd break into oh, my hell house. Oh, no. And when I was sound asleep, she'd come to my room. And I'd wake up to her hand in my pants. And it wasn't like the only time it happened to. I was so like used to it. I was so used to it that it. I don't know. It was. It was just. She like, wanted bro bad for me that I like. I didn't think there was such like a problem at all. Like part of me wants to blame myself for being nice and sticking around after so many, so many times. But now I realize that I was stuck in this like manipulative cycle of her acting like she extremely cared about me and then. That night she would do stuff to me, and it was, it was just so normal for me. I, I got used to it, which sucks. I feel like. Yeah. Um. He definitely shouldn't feel like it's it's his fault. No victim should feel like that because it's not. Um. But yeah, I don't understand. It. I don't know. It's just. It's still a lot to this that doesn't make sense. Like, why would he even feel that kind of obligation to her. Let me let me run that back and try to get more clarity out of that. It was just like normal for me that I like I didn't think there was such like a problem at all. Like part of me wants to blame myself for being nice and sticking around after so many, so many times. But now I realize that I was stuck in this like manipulative cycle of her acting like she extremely cared about me and then that night she would do stuff to me, and it was, it was just so normal for me, I, I got used to it, which sucks, I feel like no one should have to go through, it's where I, I almost feel like I owed, owed it to her for some reason, I don't know why, why? I feel like she had this like control, like this power over, over me, it was all, I don't know, I was like, I was like stuck, um, I'm sorry, does that make sense to anybody? How, like, how do you get that far in just a friendship? Like, that's what I'm saying doesn't make sense to me. I don't understand how any of that got that far with just a friendship. I, it, it don't make sense to me. Like, and she clearly violated your friendship and crossed your personal boundaries many, many times. Like, what does her saying she care about you, like, what does that do for you? Like... Oh, okay, well, you care. Like, nah, that, that don't make sense to me. And then again, I think he said that they were, like, uh, not friends for a while. You know what I mean? After she cheated on his, uh, his best friend or one of his close friends. And again, that's another thing. Like, she already showed what she about. She's been showed what she about, if this story is true. You know what I'm saying? Like, about her cheating on one of your close friends. Like, she's already showed what she is about. So what's the, like, what are you continuing to stay loyal to her about I'm, I don't know and I feel like you should never have to like worry about like falling asleep and waking up definitely to one of your good friends like touching you you know I was like she wasn't a good friend bro she should be from like a, a, a person one night she ripping off my clothes touching my crotch area trying to make out with me I mean, it was just like the same old, same old. Like, I say, Sienna, stop. Sienna, stop. Go back to the couch. Sienna, stop. So I, like, locked the door. She was trying to get in. And I literally just slept on the floor. And she finally went to bed. It's, like, very awkward the next morning. And she'll say sorry. And I'm like, Sienna, this, this happens so many times. Like, you do not respect boundaries. You just... So my dad was born and raised in Hawaii, so we planned a trip to the beach house uh, my dad grew up on in Hawaii. And the Sienna's family basically planned the same trip on the same day. <laughs> what? They left a couple days How does before that and we were supposed to leave on a certain day. <laughs> but I didn't want to leave because she already left to go back home and I did not want to be at home with her because I know she'd find a way to start hanging out with me again. So my mom got a text from Sienna's mom saying that 
Sienna's on a plane taxi right now, hearing that she's coming back, it's like, this cycle is never gonna end. It's like, it's gonna be like this forever. That's like, that's what it felt like. She was always gonna make her way back towards me. She wasn't respecting my space at all. She knew I wanted my space. There's another time I went to Hawaii with a couple friends for like my trip and she kind of found a way to get on that trip. And we went to a party one night. She got mad that I was talking to some girl and she took me into the bathroom to talk to me, saying that she wanted to leave. She was blocking the door so like, I couldn't just like throw her out of the way. All I had was stop, she yeah, don't do that. If I come out, she like scream at me in front of everyone and think that I did something. I mean, just, I feel like no one believes a male, especially in like that type of situation. But yeah, she was on the counter and wrapped her legs around me and started like, let me out of the bathroom. Yeah, just mm -hmm. weird stuff. That night we went home, made sure we had like different oh, rooms I to stay in. And I got in the shower and she picked the lock of my door. <laughs> made sure to lock the doors, but she picked the lock. This is crazy. And walked in. <laughs> I was in the shower. All I heard was just like the door opening. And that's when I was just done. I screamed at her. Told her to get out. She started crying. She went and slept in my bed. And I went to my friend's trundle bed that was like upstairs. Uh, and that's how like the night ended. So now we're caught up to when everything went public, when Mason posted his tweet. Since everything was brought to social media, multiple guys came out to me and said that Sienna did similar things to them. And basically, I'm sh I'll show the text right now. I asked all of them for permission to post, crossed out all their names. We don't want her to hurt anybody else. We don't want anyone to go through that experience. At the time, it feels humiliating. You feel like you have no power. You have no no control in the situation. You just, you feel, it, I don't know, it's just, it's horrible. I just want to start off by saying that I didn't stay silent in the situation over these last couple months. I, I talked to my friends, my family, my parents, counselors, and I was able to process everything. I don't think I'll ever be the same person I was before Sienna. It, it sucks and there's going to be people that try to take advantage of you and get you at your most vulnerable state and and that's that's not fair. That's not fair at all. And it's a lot of the time it's usually like the nice the nice people that like let people walk all over them and that was me like I let everyone just walk all over me no matter what like I would do anything for anyone and I think that's one of the things she gave me was I learned how to be more bold and up all over me alright um there's like two more minutes left but I'm you know in it there so uh yeah, like I said, um, he's clearly, he got my support as far as for, like, how the video go. Like, like I said, it's evident, it's clear as day, and, um, if even one of those things are true, because I haven't even looked into her side of the story, but, yeah, obviously you can see the video, but, um, if even one of those other things that he said was true or just about her being, like, um, obnoxious and aggressive and not being able to um like respect his boundaries then yeah she's the person or at least somewhat of the person that he says she is but yeah for the most part i'm not gonna lie they're like tiktok people and um some of that stuff is fabricated we just gotta understand that on her side and on his side like that's just what these people that's in the public like they do and I don't want to call them celebrities because they're not celebrities. But um, maybe to TikTok people, like, they're celebrities. But, um, yeah, some of that stuff is just fabricated because it, it just wouldn't even make sense. Like, I don't... Not to say that no one's not that naive because there's definitely people. But I think the fact that he was clearly aware of the, some of the stuff that was going on 
uh, it shows that like he knew what was going on, and it's just a little like I said, it's a little more to the story um, than what he's saying on his side. Because if he's saying like repeating things like "oh, she was messing with other guys" or a bunch of guys in L.A. Um, and also that she kept doing it and not respecting my boundaries. Like, how could he even have been saying that stuff? And it seems like that she never got that message. How did he not just completely separate that himself from that situation? Like, don't talk to her, uh, don't text her, ghost her, um, don't bring her, don't do any videos with her. You know what I mean? Like, just completely separate himself from that situation. It's not victim blaming. It's just asking, like, you know, like, why didn't you do that? If you had already seen what happened, you know what I mean? Like, victim blaming would be saying, like, oh, you brought this upon yourself because of so-and-so. No, I'm not saying that at all. Like I said, the video is evidence. Clear as day what she did. And, um, yeah, she should be, if he decided to take any action on that, then, yeah, she should be um, prosecuted in any way for, like, whatever they're doing for that situation but yeah I don't understand that part and uh, some of the stuff because I kind of looked into the story a little bit a lot of the stuff on her end didn't make any sense to me either and I know like she had like friends posting videos and stuff uh, on her behalf saying that he was lying and it just didn't really add up to me but again um yeah this is just like a random story I came across and uh I wanted to react to it. If anybody is in this situation, um, please, please uh, try your best to get out of it. Keep boundaries, especially if a person is like you're not seeing, you're not with that person in that kind of way, like in a relationship way. You get out of that and make sure that um, they know your boundaries. And if they can't respect that, then remove yourself in general. And if they go past that then yeah, you got to take legal action on them. Like, that's just what's got to happen. But as far as um, everything else go, uh, yeah, y'all tell me how y'all feel about it. Tell me how y'all feel about the situation. <laughs> I don't want to say look into it because, um, I mean, it's kind of right there. But, um, yeah, y'all can do your own research if y'all want to. I um, don't follow TikTokers. I barely be on TikTok. So, um, but, yeah, obviously this issue is way further than TikTok if he actually decides to press charges and stuff like that. But yeah, y'all tell me about what y'all feel about that video. Thanks for tuning in with me today. It's Hamlet Nady and I'm out.